The Mechanical Turk is a wild story of AI from 250 years ago, and I think about it a lot. If you haven't heard about it, the Mechanical Turk was a wildly popular attraction that toured around Europe and America from the late 18th century. It was a robot designed to play chess, and it drew massive crowds, and it could beat pretty much anyone. For over 80 years, no one could figure out how it worked. It was built in around 1770 by Hungarian Wolfgang von Kempelen. He claimed it was an automatic on pure clockwork and he'd open all the doors to the cabinet to show the gears inside and proving there was no trickery it faced off with napoleon played benjamin franklin it even solved the notorious knight's tour puzzle where the knight's got to visit every square just once like it was basically treated like magic a bit like some ai tools today and like today there were skeptics lots of people wrote about it and had theories about remote control, magnets, wires. And some people thought, yeah, maybe there's a small human inside, maybe someone who is either very small, who maybe lost their legs in the war, for some reason could fit into a very tiny space. Anyway, eventually they figured it out. A later owner let it slip that there was someone hidden inside and there always had been. The creator had really cleverly designed compartments to open and close in a way that even when it seemed like he was showing you inside the cabinet, there was somehow someone hidden in there. And to play the game, the person inside had to basically watch magnetic discs on the underside of the board to see where they'd moved and then make their move with a system of levers that control the arm and hand of the mechanical Turk. I mean, it was genius, but it sounds to me like a really horrible job being trapped in there. Um, but here's why I still think about it, right? Because even though it was a hoax, it completely captivated people and it made people ask, what if machines could think? And that question, even though it's from a hoax, inspired people to build more complex machines and to wonder if there was a point at which they became intelligent. Like Charles Babbage, who designed the first ever mechanical computer, he saw the Mechanical Turk. Like it really got in the heads of people at that time and it helped fuel the entire idea of intelligent machines. So to me, it's really exciting that we're alive at this moment where this obsession, this dream of thinking machines, living alongside us, is finally coming to fruition. So when you next talk to ChatGPT, just take a minute to recognize that, you know, this is not the culmination of like the last 10 years since the movie Her or Ex Machina came out, right? This is actually the culmination of centuries of dreaming about this stuff, centuries of obsession with artificial intelligence and centuries of innovation to get us here.